developing news, children taken from parents caught crossing the border illegally are now being warehoused in facilities near San Diego. They are among the thousands of kids forcibly separated from their families by Border Patrol in the past few weeks. Even as the outcry over the controversial family separation policy grows louder, President Trump and his administration refuses to back down. And we do have team coverage on this controversial issue tonight. Dave Bryan has a political reaction, but we begin tonight near the border. Our Michelle Gili is live outside the El Cajon facility where children are being sent. And Michelle, we understand that some members of Congress visited several of the Southern California detention centers today. That is right, and this is one behind me here. One of the Congresswomen who was here calls this child abuse. Another came to the border today, she says, to investigate the cruelest act going on in America. And so this is not an immigration issue. This is a humanitarian issue. It's about the children. More than a dozen Democratic members of Congress, including several from L.A. and Orange County, toured four detention centers today near the border. The goal, they say, is to continue to highlight the inhumanity of the president's zero tolerance policy, where children are separated from their parents as they try to enter the United States. That they had no chance to say goodbye to their kids, that they were put into a room in some instances and were just told that they weren't going to see their kids anymore was heartbreaking. And that is what is happening, and that is the injustice. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi was a part of the delegation that visited this detention center in El Cajon. The Department of Homeland Security provided this video inside of the facility where 62 boys are being held today. The migrant children, as young as six years old, have either been separated from their parents or arrived in the U.S. alone. Congressman Juan Vargas, who represents San Diego, fired back at President Trump, who has blamed Democrats for the separation of children from their parents. So has this been the policy? For no, this has not been the policy. The policy has been to try to keep families together. Right. So yes, before there's been unaccompanied minors. Yes, right. kids have arrived without their mom and dads. But no, we didn't take children, you know, children and rip them away from their moms when they were trying to nurse their kids. We didn't do stuff like that. No, that's new. Demonstrators are at the front gate of the facility, including a Santa Maria school teacher. Elizabeth Osborne left home at 3.30 a.m. to be here to protest what is happening to the children. I have a very strong feeling about what's happening here, and I'm very disappointed in what's going on with our nation. And separating children from their parents is not anything that anybody should do, least of all in the United States of America. Now, there are different facilities where the girls are being held. The delegation did not see those today. These Congress people said that the president started this and the president has the power to end it. Live in El Cajon, back to you.